Hey players, how you doing? Welcome back to Players Guide, and on this episode, I'm visiting Capital City Classic Arcade. On a recent trip to British Columbia, I was out visiting Dave, who many of you might know, at, and we made a trip to New West Arcade, Capital City Classics. So this place was pretty cool. Uh, it's a small little barcade. Uh, the main focus is the arcade, not so much on the bar. Here's a few out of commission machines. Main event wrestling looks interesting. I haven't played that one before. I'd like to. And they served up beer in these uh, magnetic koozies that will stick to um, the coin op door of the arcades or whatever metal parts um, they have that you can stick them on. That way people aren't using machines as the coasters and putting them on any of the arcade machines themselves. And, you know, that prevents probably a lot of accidents from happening where uh, drinks could get spilled, you know, when you are running a place like that. So I thought that was really clever and really great that you could just walk around this place, play some classic arcade games and uh, some new arcade games, just whatever you want, and uh, have a couple drinks while you're doing it with your friends. Um, one of the things I did find was there was all the staple classic arcade games that you could think of in this place. They were all there. They were all present, as well as some other more obscure games and not so well-known games that I've never seen before or I've never played before. I'm going to be highlighting a few of those in this uh, arcade video. Uh, now, I do also want to point out that these guys kept their arcade very neat and tidy. It was nice and clean, as well as they had a very modern but retro atmosphere. And what I mean by that is they had a lot of TVs um, with different things going on uh, that contributed to that retro atmosphere as well as a lot of classic 80s music that uh, most of us would recognize uh, walking around and enjoy. Moon Patrol, there's an interesting one you don't see too often, or I don't. Super Sprint, I love that game. This one here, Space Encounters, this caught my eye. I've never seen this arcade before, or played it, or really ever heard anyone talk about it. But it looked a lot different than any of the other arcades. It had a very unique look to it. And it played quite a bit different. It had a, a steering pilot wheel handle as a controller. Uh, so I wanted to include this one in the video because I thought it was really cool. There was a Snow Brothers. You don't see Snow Bros too often. But uh, the, where I am in Ontario, around Toronto, there's not a lot of these places. There's one place that I could think of in particular. Oh, uh, McDonald's Neo Geo. That was cool. This place was really well organized. Um, and they put all these Nintendo cabinets together. Some of them were original, it looks like, and some of them clearly not. And I like what they did over here, too, with... Uh, punch out putting it over not too far from the other Nintendo games so that it's close by Space Invaders there's a classic that I was talking about uh, you're going to see a few others here there's uh, Pac-Man as well and uh, then there's this other game uh, Fire Escape just hanging out here in the corner. I'd never seen this before, and it is different. You're running a coin down a ladder of a burning building. The controls worked. Unfortunately, there was no coin coming out of the arcade, unfortunately. If you call it an arcade, it's, it's not really a video arcade game. Burger Time, there's another classic I enjoy, Gyrus. So this is one of my favorite games on the NES, and I think it's a true hidden gem that's undervalued. 
on that console. You'll probably like it if you like shoot 'em ups, but but there it is there. Out Zone. This was one that I've never played before. I've never seen this game. I thought it was pretty interesting though. It had this retro future style that I like, and it was a uh, top-down run and gun, kind of reminding me a bit of uh, Commando or Heavy Barrel. Marble Madness, and we also saw this other rollerball game, Mini Putt, that me and my son had a lot of fun with. There, there was this Flintstones egg game that my son played and I swear I've played this one and I've played it with Dino before uh, when I was a kid. Have you ever come across anything like that that brings back old memories you didn't know you had? Anyways thanks for checking out this video players and check out Capital City Arcade and New Westminster BC. Until next time I'll catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.